Welcome back to the End Time Remnant YouTube channel. This is Dorothy. Today is May 1st, 2023. It is about 8.39 in the morning. And I just wanted to um, lift each and every one attached to this ministry in prayer for this new month. I woke up this morning and I felt led to just pray um, for all of us. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, first repenting of our sins, praying that you would forgive us of anything that we have said, things that we have thought, things that we have done, uh, things that we have harbored in our hearts that were not pleasing in your sight and go against your word. We ask in the name of Jesus for forgiveness on this morning. The Bible says if we confess our sins, you are just and faithful to forgive us. So we repent of known and unknown sin on today, and we thank you for the grace and the mercy that is available to us through the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus that was shed for the remission of our sins, past, present, and future. We thank you for this new day. We thank you for this new month. We are grateful and blessed to be in the land of the living. For we know that there are many who do not have this testimony. We do not take for granted the fact that you have woken us up this morning. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for life on today, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your mercies, which are new every morning. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you for interceding for us, Lord Jesus. Thank you for protecting us from the works of the enemy. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for getting us through the month of April and ushering us into this new month of May. Thank you for a new season. Thank you for new mindsets. Thank you for supernatural shifts in our circumstances that can only come from your hand. Thank you that the enemy we have seen, we will see no more. Thank you for drowning every spiritual Pharaoh in our lives, those stubborn spirits that just do not want to let us go, those spirits that do not want to see us walk into what you have for us. We thank you for deliverance this month, Father. Thank you for peace of mind throughout this month. Thank you for spiritual growth and maturity throughout this month. Thank you for strength, wisdom, and strategy to defeat the enemy in every battle that lies ahead of us during this month. Thank you for brand new connections this month. Thank you for long awaited reunions this month. Thank you for open hearts. Thank you for open um, and honest conversations filled with heartfelt apologies, truth and vulnerability. Thank you for restoring families, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the spirit of unity adorning your people. Thank you for restoring marriages that Satan has tried to destroy. Thank you for restoring friendships that Satan has tried to destroy. Thank you for restoring families that Satan has tried to destroy. We just thank you for unity this month, Father. Thank you for new opportunities this month. Thank you for divine meetings. Thank you for divine resources, divine helpers, people that you have sent to bless your people during this time. Thank you for enlarging our territory, Lord God, throughout this month. Thank you for all who will be moving into new apartments and new homes of their own after seasons of humbling, lack, and loss. Thank you for new real estate. Thank you for new ownership. Thank you for miraculous opportunities that literally could only come from you. Thank you for God-ordained marriages and engagements this month, Father. Thank you for the manifestation of long-awaited promises. Thank you for beautiful reunions between those you have called to the covenant of marriage. Thank you for a hedge of protection around these very special marriages. Thank you for resources to support these marriages. Thank you for the children that will come from these marriages. Thank you for the powerful ministries that will be birthed from these marriages. Thank you for deliverance that is going forth throughout this month. Thank you for all the lost souls that will be saved this month. Thank you for all the people who will choose ye this day whom they will serve. Thank you for all in the body of Christ who are currently in a backslidden state who will make up their mind, who will repent and return to you. Thank you for all of the people who will be sent out in ministry for your glory this month. Thank you for providing every 
resource that they need and every divine helper that they will need to do your work. Thank you for miracles abounding throughout this month. Things that would have taken your people years to do, may they be done in a day by your supernatural power. Thank you for divine resources. May the wealth of the wicked be transferred into the hands of the righteous this month, Father. Thank you for every pure heart that has refused to worship mammon, people that can be trusted with money, O oh God. Thank you for every true ministry that has refused to allow Satan to contaminate the purity of the gospel. Thank you for reminding us that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You own everything and those who belong to you shall lack no good thing. That is your word. Thank you for supernatural debt cancellations for your people this month. We shall lend to many nations but borrow from none. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. This is your word, O oh God, to your people. Thank you for promotions during this month. Thank you for the Josephs that are going from the pit to the palace after years of deliverance, training, humility, and spiritual maturity. Thank you for the Josephs that are ready. Thank you for the overnight elevation in the lives of your people this month. Thank you for every David that will slay the Goliath in their life this month. Every bad habit, every addiction, every fear, every besetting sin, every giant that has served as a hindrance in the past. Thank you for the boldness and the bravery of every David who will behead the giant threatening their life this month. Thank you for every David that will take his rightful place as king this month. Every man of God you anointed as leader long ago, but had to go through seasons of trials and testing. May this be the month they finally sit on their throne and take their rightful place, their rightful position according to your perfect will for their lives. Thank you for every Sarah and every Hannah who has been crying out for a child. May this month be the beginning of beautiful and healthy pregnancies, no matter their age, O oh God. Bring forth these children to advance your kingdom. Bring forth these children to show your glory. Thank you for every Esther who will replace Vashti in a God-ordained kingdom marriage for your glory this month. These marriages are very important to you. These marriages are very important to the advancement of your kingdom in the earth. And may they come forth for a time such as this, O oh God. Thank you for every Jonah who will stop running from you and answer the call on their life and get to handling your business this month. There are things that you have told your people to do and they have been running full steam ahead away from you. They don't want to do it. But in the name of Jesus, I pray that this month be the time for every Jonah to stop running and answer the call and allow you to use them greatly. Father, I thank you for healing our bodies, our minds, and spirits, Lord. I thank you for drying up cancer cells. I thank you for healing bodies of diabetes. I thank you for clearing blocked arteries. I thank you for dissipating blood clots. Thank you for restoring eyesight. Thank you for healing broken bones. Hallelujah. Thank you for rebuking us and reminding us that our bodies are your dwelling place and we have an obligation to keep our temples healthy. Thank you for giving us the strength to exercise daily. Thank you for giving us a mind to choose um, diets that are nutritious. There's nothing wrong with an occasional treat. But from the day to day, thank you for convicting us to eat healthily. That our bodies would be strong. That we would be able to carry out the call on our lives, oh God. I just thank you right now for your faithfulness to each of us, oh God. You have not left us. You have not forsaken us. You are with us. Father, thank you for a new season. Thank you for new mindsets. Thank you for supernatural um, blessings, oh God. Thank you for all that you are doing, oh God. We bless your holy name right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for restoring the mind and breaking the bondage of mental illness. Health isn't always just about the body. There are people who are in need of deliverance of mental illness. Thank you for deliverance from depression, anxiety, panic attacks, 
bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and all other types of diseases that Satan sends to attack the minds of your people, Lord. I thank you that this month you are setting the captives free. Thank you for peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you for favor in court cases this month. Thank you for favor at the workplace this month. Thank you for favor everywhere our feet tread this month. May your glory rest upon your people throughout this month. May you arise and scatter every enemy of breakthrough this month. Thank you for acceleration and forward movement this month as spirits of hindrance and delay are defeated in the name of Jesus. Thank you for an impenetrable hedge of protection this month. Thank you that no weapons formed against us shall prosper this month. Thank you for nullifying, voiding, and rendering powerless all the works of the enemy that seek to steal, kill, and destroy the blessings of your people. Thank you for recompense. Thank you for renewal. Thank you for restoration this month. Thank you for a season of double for our trouble. Thank you for an additional measure of faith for those who are struggling right now. Thank you for open doors this month. Thank you for closed doors this month. Glory to God. Thank you for closed doors this month. Thank you for second chances and divine opportunities that are coming back around again because we missed it the first time. You are so loving and faithful to us, Lord, and we just thank you. Thank you for knowledge and understanding in order to walk in wisdom. Thank you for correction. Thank you for conviction from the Holy Spirit. Thank you for warnings. Thank you for strength and courage to do all that we have been called to do in this time. Thank you for giving us new hearts, hearts that love unconditionally just like you, hearts that forgive quickly just like you, hearts that are filled with compassion for the human condition just like you, hearts that refuse to harbor anger or hatred in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the manifestation of long-awaited promises, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness to perform your word. Thank you that no matter how imperfect we are, your promises still stand because you are not man that you shall lie and your word goes forth out of your mouth and will not return unto you void. You said it and you will do it. Thank you for ensuring every miracle is hand delivered to your people without hindrance or delay this month. Thank you for a miraculous May, a May that causes us to marvel at your goodness, a May that leaves us in absolute awe of your faithfulness. A May that is filled with joy, peace, and love. Father, we love you. We worship you. We give you the highest praise of hallelujah. And we know that all things are working together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purposes. So we thank you for the month of May and all of the miracles that will abound. Father, we pray that you do it for your name's sake, Father. We have stood in faith. We have fasted. We have prayed. And we have praised during seasons of absolute turmoil. Nothing has turned us from you. And may this month be the beginning of an outpouring of all things new. May we receive beauty for ashes, joy for mourning, and may we put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.